So bed three, uh, I mean bed four, uh, she's been admitted with an exacerbation of a COPD. She's on the usual puffers and no other comorbidities that I can remember. I uh, haven't had time to read her medical or social history yet. She's on the usual treatment, some oxygen, and the physio's given her a frame. Uh, she's been here for a few days, but I haven't heard about a discharge date yet. Uh, the student did her OBS a while ago, and she said they were okay. Uh, I think she had some spirometry done yesterday, but I don't know if the team has reviewed that yet. And I think she lives with her daughter, and that she's usually okay at home. What about a SAT? Oh, she's a CO2 retainer, so we'll keep a good check on those. I'll check those later. Okay. What about a cannula? Oh, uh, hasn't got a date on the right thing. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. Hello. hello. This is Charmaine and Kelly. Hello, yes. This is hello. a change of nursing shift, oh. and we're just going to hand over some important information about your nursing management and care. Would you mind if we checked your ID yes. band just to confirm your details, please? Okay, so this is Mrs. Jane Smith, medical record number 123456, date of birth 14th of 2nd, 1946. Thank you. Oh, I notice you haven't got any allergy bands on. Are you allergic to anything? No. no. Okay, good. All right, so uh, Mrs. Smith is a 68-year-old lady. She was admitted three days ago with an exacerbation of a COPD. She had a four-day history of increasing shortness of breath on exertion, not relieved by her puffers. She has no comorbidities and no infection control precautions. She stopped smoking after her first admission about two years ago, and she lives at home alone with support from her daughter. She's on IV antibiotics, bronchodilators, and steroids, and she's on two litres of oxygen via the nasal prongs. She has autocrawling criteria for oxygen saturations, the target range is 88 to 92% because she retains CO2. Mrs. Smith's other vital signs are between the flags and she needs QID OBS and had some spirometry done yesterday which the team are going to review today. She reports having a fall at home about a month ago but she's otherwise independent with her ADLs. Uh, falls risk was low but I use the override option to get, make her a high falls risk because of her recent falls history. Uh, she's been assessed by the physio and she's on a rollator frame for it to ambulate. Uh, her water load score is 10 and her skin integrity is intact and she's responded well to all treatment and she's on a normal diet. Good. We'll just check your chart. So the observations were last done at 6am and they look fine. Yep. The medications, IV tazacin due at 2pm mm -hmm. and prednisone due at 8. That's right. Good. Okay. You need to check with the team today whether she's to continue on the IV antibiotics or whether the cannula can be removed. Mrs. Smith, do you mind if we have a look at your cannula? Okay, so that was put in three days ago. It's not red. I think so. It's all, it was patent this morning when we gave her antibiotics. Okay, so at this stage, the team are aiming for discharge in a couple of days' time, pending discharge from the physio and also ceasing the IV antibiotics. Uh, Mrs. Smith, do you understand what we've talked about? Have you got any questions yeah, at all? Yeah, just when I'm getting rid of the oxygen. Sure. So at present, you still need the oxygen. We're aiming to wean it off you in two days' mm -hmm. time and we'll ask the doctors to come and talk to you about it. So the things you need to follow up on are whether the team are going to cease the IV antibiotics and uh, we can remove the cannula and also um, if you can ask the doctors to come and talk to her about her ongoing oxygen requirements, please. Any questions before we move on? No. Okay, happy to take over care? Yes. Great. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. Yeah. We're going to go and finish handover. Here's your buzzer. If you need oh, anything, you. give us a call. Okay, thank you. Thank you, girls. Thank Great. You. Okay, thank you. thanks. See you later.